Ah, man, I've been trying to kind of make two videos a day lately, kind of trying to have one to upload while I'm away on my trip and one to upload on the day that I make it so we can keep things consistent. But naturally, the well of ideas does dry up a little bit when you're working that much. I think this trip's going to do me some good, man. Well, here's a little interesting tidbit of media that we probably thought lost to the ages. Yes, we know Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4 was cancelled and we've all been getting over the heartache of that over the past decade. But of everybody who would have won watched Spider-Man 4 when it came out, how many of us here would have played Spider-Man 4 the game if that came out? Probably like 99.999% of all of us, because Spider-Man games were awesome at this time. Sure, Spider-Man 3 the game may have reinvented what it means to be a meme, but that's just a fluke, right? Nobody ever asked about the Spider-Man 4 game when Spider-Man 4 was cancelled. So here's a video that nobody asked for, with some pictures that nobody asked for. But to be honest, it's actually kind of interesting. So as we can see here, Spider-Man 4 would have featured Spider-Man. Who would have guessed, right? And he's, oh, it, where is he? He's in, oh, this is new. He's in New York City. Yeah, no, it's all standard fair Spidey stuff. We've basically, what we're shown here is that they would have been free roam, which, well, of course, I mean, why would you go from having free roam in Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 to not having free roam in the next one? Um, and I think the truth is this whole experience would have been a little bit samey, but we've got some sort of different looks at the city models that they had, and it definitely appears we've got Chinatown in this game, which we don't really see in that much detail in the Spider-Man 3 game or any games prior to this. And we can kind of see how the time is different in certain screenshots. For example, screenshots where it's got like the sun very high. A lot of these screenshots look like they're about 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the summertime. And then we've got some that look kind of like it's... What well, They all look very morning-like. The sun is very, very, very sort of shadowy in this game from the looks of things, which I, I really don't mind. Like, I've kind of undecided as to whether or not this looks like sunset or sunrise, but I definitely say sunrise. Um, Spider-Man's character model itself is, well, it's obviously in its beta stages, and uh, you can tell because the textures on this thing are just plain, well, unsightly, to be honest. Now, I don't know how this would have played out. Presumably, this would have been released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I mean, the PlayStation 4 had many years to go yet, so I'd say it's pretty obvious, I guess. So, obviously, Spider-Man's model would look better than this because this, well, let's face it, it would be the worst-looking Spider-Man character model since the PS2 era of Spider-Man games. But um, you got to think, this, this game would have been in its early alpha stages. They would have just been getting the engine done, which I find kind of actually is an interesting tidbit here because... Basically, Spider-Man for the game probably wouldn't realistically go into development until they had more story information about Spider-Man for the film, and Spider-Man for the film was cancelled before any script was actually finished. They, they had scripts, but it wasn't finalised or anything like that, so they wouldn't really have much to go by for this video game. So, from the looks of things, all they were setting up here was the gameplay engine for Spider-Man, and the side missions from the looks of things, as we've got a few bits of chaos happening in the backgrounds of some of these shots. Heck, maybe they can't have a very detailed Spider-Man character model for this very early build, because maybe it would make it unstable, or I, I don't necessarily know how game development works, to be honest, but uh, software and hardware management is always a thing. I mean, I'll say this, the anatomy of Spider-Man's character model in this game definitely looks a bit better than it did in Spider-Man 3. It's just everything else about it. And I definitely don't like how sort of muted his colours are. And that was also an issue in Spider-Man 3 was the Spider-Man character model that they had only looked kind of vibrant in kind of dark sort of night light sort of a look. In daytime he looked very pale and so does this one. Um, but the thing is, the fact is they made this alpha here clearly to make a new engine for Spidey, and the city models do look different. They look a little more basic than they did in Spider-Man 3, the game, in certain areas. So it looks like this whole thing would have been rebuilt from the ground up, which I both think is impressive and I also think it's a bit of a waste of time. Unless they really were going to make this game play very differently to previous ones. Maybe they had a new web-swinging engine. What we do know is that this game later turned into Prototype 2. I must say, I do think... Activision's leg of the Spider-Man video game journey ended just at the right time because to be honest we'd had the 
edgelord fantasy of Spider-Man Web of Shadows go all the way through to the somewhat babyish sort of a vibe we had from the Amazing Spider-Man to the game, and my guess is Spider-Man for the game would have just been part of that downfall. But hey, <laughs> High Mountain Studios, how about you get some developers to finish this game off while you're at it with your Spider-Man fan film? What do you guys think? How do you think this game would have played out? Would you have bought it? Comment below and discuss, and as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and in the description below are links to my Patreon and my Discord. Hey, dude, have you heard about the seminar? No, what about it? It's cancelled, dude. For real? You didn't get the notification? No, I didn't. Oh, well, it's cancelled. Yeah, well, I came all this way for nothing then. Hey, you you want to hang out? No. I, I, I just heard there was gone on Tracy. You gotta get out of there, Tracy. Tracy. Okay, so I guess the best advice I could give to anybody is this: evaluate your circumstances, be brave, be prepared to fail, but always get up. You owe it to yourself to be marvelous, so why regret being anything less? Well said. I'll see you around, buddy. Channel Pup has been growing more than I could ever have anticipated over this very short space of time. And I'm absolutely honored to see so many viewers participating in discussions and really enjoying my little projects here. But it's not without its obstacles. I'm currently a student studying film and television, and if I want to afford the general costs that come with living, unfortunately YouTube revenue just can't always cut that cheese. I recently moved in with my girlfriend's family, but this is not a permanent thing, it's just for the summer. And last year I've done the whole act of balancing YouTube, balancing a job, and balancing university and trust me the content suffers every single time so to support this channel to maintain the same quality of content and upload schedule and to just keep making the stuff you guys really seem to be enjoying I really do urge you to check out my Patreon link in the description below. And in return, you can get early access previews to the special Channel Pup events such as Marvelous Tales of Spider-Man Episode 2, as well as my upcoming Patreon exclusive playlist, Pup's Project Room, which is all unlockable with a pledge of just one dollar or more. Now the world's a tricky place. Not everybody is made of money, and that's fine. Just please be here for my videos. Please don't stop coming back to join me on these discussions because it means so much to me, guys, really. Well, I guess I best be hitting the old dusty trail. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Channel Pop, and I'll think of a better catchphrase next time. Now please leave me alone!